Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Sweet Spot. This is your host, Ryan Embry. As all the, always, one of my favorite episodes of the year. It's an annual tradition. Uh, Dana Sanger, president of Travel Media Group, joins me today. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Dana. And uh, we're wrapping up another year. And I love this episode because it takes the time to reflect on everything that we've accomplished as a company, Travel Media Group, but also the industry. You know, as we get into another year, we've sat here in years past before and you know maybe that that outlook hasn't been as bright as it looks in 2024 and maybe finding those bright spots have been a little bit harder to do um but before we get into talking about travel media group which we're certainly going to talk a lot about today this is the year in review episode i want to talk a little bit more about the in uh, the hotel industry as a whole and how it compares to those last couple years that i just talked about sure yeah i you know the industry continues to demonstrate resilience. Uh, travel demand remains strong. Uh, however, it's not without its headwinds and, and challenges. And this year at Travel Media Group, uh, we conducted several uh, industry surveys of our database, over 40,000 hoteliers, and we found that staffing uh, is still a significant challenge. Um, it's important to mention that the industry forecasts are positive, um, and it's exciting to see the number of new entrants uh, into the market. And that really speaks to the evolving needs of uh, and expectations of travelers. Yeah. So certainly a brighter outlook than, like I said, maybe years past that we've seen. But, you know, some of the challenges that we've seen in this industry, we, we talked about it on this podcast just a few episodes ago with Chip Rogers when he came on, you know, still seeing those challenges when it comes to staffing yes. and for hotel owners and management companies to find that time. But they're getting it a, a much more effective and efficient um, at combating these staffing challenges. This is, hasn't been something that's happened in the last six months is actually something that's happened over the last couple of years. Yep. So that's why actually we're at Travel Media Group seeing a lot more demand for things like social media, uh, crafting social media yep. for, for a hotel or management portfolio, uh, responding to reviews, giving back time to their employees, taking tasks off their plate so that they can be more efficient. So there's also this kind of evolution and trend uh, towards outsourcing some of that stuff that's a lot more welcome. So in that same vein, I want to talk about Travel Media Group and you know some of the latest innovations and developments. We'd had Jason Lee on here, our Chief Technology Officer. I feel like he's on here almost every other episode talking about some sort of new development or launch. Um, let's talk about some of those developments in 2023 and the impact that it's had on our hotel partners. Sure. You know, if I look back, I would say uh, one of our most notable innovations uh, for TMG this year would be the launch of our enhanced social media solution, uh, adding Instagram reels and social video content uh, to our existing offering present really presents transformative opportunities for our clients to engage with guests and travelers. And like our other solutions and services, our social media management offers truly differentiated levels of support and content expertise. And that enables consistency in messaging and certainly a significant time savings. Yeah, so important to be consistent there. Yeah, and then we also um, launched the inclusion of Medallia as part of our Respond and Resolve solution. So now we have full capabilities to respond to both public facing uh, and internal reviews, which adds additional efficiencies and time savings uh, for our hotel partners. And it's something that they've asked for. Um, so when we think about our Respond and Resolve solution, it continues to be uh, the industry leading solution. It provides just high levels of support overall. And the need for a consistent review re response strategy has never been more important um, relative to reputation management and the sincere connection to, to managing guest feedback. Yeah, you, you made a point in there about uh, our hotel partners asking for this. And I feel like those two things specifically was something that we were hearing from our hotel partners all the time. Like, is Travel Media Group going to be launching social video? Or I want to be on Instagram Reels, or my hotel wants to actually uh, create a TikTok account, right? And we were hearing these from our, from our hotel partners. And for us to fulfill that need uh, and be actually one of the first to be able to do that and at such a high quality as well uh, with some of the custom content that you were speaking about and how we can really match 
the hotel's voice, super, super important. And then obviously we know we've talked about it on, on this podcast, you know, how much the brands emphasize these medallia uh, surveys, how much this is a really a great roadmap uh, because it isn't public facing. It's actually a one-on-one -on -one conversation that you're having with the guests mm -hmm. about how you can improve your hotel and guest experience. Um, so these are absolutely critical in, you know, things like, uh, like you said, sincere connection to managing guests feedback. So uh, really, really important launches there. If you haven't had the chance, um, we have episodes on both of those. You can check them out on our YouTube page or, um, you know, Sweet Spot. Spotify, SoundCloud, anywhere you can find uh, those. So I would really encourage you. But I want to explore this topic of, of social media a, a little bit further. Um, we've talked a lot in some of our series to industry leaders about the evolution of social media and how it's evolved over the last couple of years. Um, how is that translated of how Travel Media Group uh, utilizes its social media platforms right now? Yeah, sure. Great points. I mean, social media clearly plays uh, a significant role in hospitality overall. You know, guests and travelers who are in the booking journey have high expectations around a connection to the hotel um, that they're going to be staying at. Um, and also, they really need a consistent social media presence to engage with um, because for the hotel, that has a number of far-reaching uh, benefits. Mm. Um, in 2023, TMG uh, launched our official TikTok page. Um, it's just a natural expansion of our, our overall uh, social media uh, presence um, with several videos uh, already published on the page. Followers can expect to watch informative yet entertaining content, um, including clips from virtual events, industry trade shows, interviews with some of the biggest names in hospitality, and um, helpful podcast cl clips. Yeah. You know, one of the things before we get into travel media group, social media and, and a milestone that we hit, but where social media plays a role in the traveler's journey is I think one of the habits we picked up during the pandemic as travelers and consumers is we didn't want any unwanted surprises whenever we were, especially in a time when we were traveling. Yeah. So one of the things that we used to kind of set expectations or set the table of what we were hopefully going to expect was social media. And I think that has turned into a habit for travelers now. Definitely. They want to come into an experience almost knowing the guardrails of what's going to happen. I think gone are the days of just saying, hey, I'm just going to book here and just see yes. what is see what this is all about. Uh, so social media, and we've heard it from industry leaders on some of the series that we do, are such a great job of setting expectations prior to. And it also keeps them interested, invested in your hotel up until the point where they actually step into your lobby. Because at this point, right now, you are still, uh, there's still that risk of losing a traveler if something doesn't match up to an expectation prior to their staying, yep. you know, because you know how much research they're doing, you know how much information's out there, you know, there's probably a plan B or a plan C. So social media really helps kind of pad that reservation and make sure that you insulate that, in, that reservation from any unwanted competition there. But transitioning to, you know, Travel Media Group, you know, we hit the mile, the incredible milestone in 2023 of 5,000 followers on LinkedIn. Um, and that's such an incredible tool. I know for, for our hotel partners, we're posting on there such a powerful B2B platform for groups, uh, you know, weddings and, and all those types of events that, that can be found on there. But also just a way to get out news and share news. Uh, exciting developments. If you're a hotel management company, you know, you're trying to expand your brand, you know, looking for audiences like that is absolutely key. So we were absolutely thrilled to hit that 5,000 milestone. We're sharing exciting news in some of our new series that we've launched, including the Sweet Spot Spotlight series, uh, which if you are hearing for the first time, we're going, we've traveled already to New York City, the chat, the historic Chatwell Hotel, uh, Marriott Cancun, the world's first 
uh, Marriott uh, all-inclusive resort, which is exciting, and down to South Beach at the SLS, where we actually had our first on-site episode. So we are looking for uh, more opportunities to do that and highlight some of our industry's most unique hotels out there. So really excited about that. You know, I feel like Travel Media Group in 2023 had this uh, underlying theme of collaboration and connection. Can you share some initiatives that that happened this past year in our organization uh, that facilitated that connection between our hotel partners and Travel Media Group? Yeah, sure. I mean, as we look back on, on 2023, we definitely covered a lot of ground relative to the importance of collaboration and strengthening connections with our partners. Uh, and while we continue to meet with hoteliers face-to-face -face, uh, at established industry events, we also expanded this to include participation um, at several new events, such as the inaugural hospitality and independent hotel show uh, in Miami. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that we had the pleasure of, of attending the, those shows. Um, you know, hospitality show in Las Vegas was absolutely fantastic. The independent hotel show in Miami, uh, that face to face connection is something, you know, we found over the last couple of years, it's hard to replace, yeah. you know, um, but the, we have found some other outlets where people, again, we're talking about those habits that we formed, uh, where people feel more comfortable, maybe doing some interactive collaborative events, correct? Absolutely. And, um, in 2023, we also launched a, a brand new interactive webinar platform where hoteliers could just hop in and out of break rooms, um, interact with peers, engage with uh, social media and review response experts. And uh, this was all highlighted in our, in our spring digital workshop series where attendees could join live breakout sessions around uh, different hotel digital marketing strategies and um, really um, get, a, get a ton out of it because there's so much learning when it's interactive. But our, our ongoing commitment to uh, industry thought leadership is, is definitely reflected in, in all of our content marketing efforts. Yeah, I had, I had the pleasure of hosting, you know, some of those, those digital workshops and digital marketing workshops in the spring. And let me tell you, it was one of the most rewarding and really cool things I did all year to see a Hilton property in California talk to you know a Marriott property in the Midwest and talk about collaborating on social media ideas saying you know we've got this great idea for Instagram how can we take it a step further and just sharing those those thoughts between you know industry professionals we we crave that you know as hospitality professionals we crave that connection uh, and and some of those events have just been absolutely fascinating and facilitating facilitating some of those conversations that right now maybe have just happened at trade shows and industry events. So being able to put those on for our hotel partners uh, has been a really, really cool thing to see and, and, and witness and be a part of. So um, let's talk about 2024. You know, this is also a, a, a fun time to kind of look into the future, the crystal ball a little bit. Um, any insights or preview of exciting TMG developments that our hotel partners can look forward to in 2024? Sure. I mean, we, we're, we're looking forward to our continued path of innovation um, that is dedicated to the industry um, and, and really the evolving needs of our partners. Um, these plans do include uh, the launch of an exciting new mobile app for our OneView platform, um, along with some new reporting releases that provide even more insights into the guest experience. That sounds amazing to, to be able to think that we might be doing a uh, episode here in 2024 talking about the launch of a uh, one view, TMG one view mobile app uh, would be uh, just, I think the perfect uh, evolution of, of where we're kind of headed right now. And um, you know, I think another point you made is what we talked about earlier is just kind of hearing the needs of our hotels and also looking at the outside trends of what's happening out there and, you know, adapting our solutions to fit those needs. So um, that's where things like connection and collaboration that we talked about come in so handy. So if you are a hotel partner at Travel Media Group, we'd love to hear from you, even some of the challenges that you might be experiencing right now, because that really sets us up for a roadmap 
uh, to develop, you know, some of these innovative solutions that we're talking about on this episode today. Yes. So it's really cool. Yeah. Um, so as we get to the end here, you know, I always love asking you this question, Dana, you have a really good insight on it. You know, what, what would be your message to listeners? You know, like I said, it's been tough for the last couple of years, maybe a message of hope and inspiration, but what about uh, next year in 2024? So on behalf of our entire team at DMG, uh, I want to wish everyone all the best for a successful uh, 2024. We're definitely looking forward to being a part of the success journey for our partners and are always here for them. We celebrated a milestone of 40 years in business in 2023, and we're very grateful for our, our growing partnerships and uh, appreciate the continued opportunity to make a positive difference. So really looking forward to the new year. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely fantastic to be a part of really exciting time to be in the industry we talked about this with chip rogers uh, on our episode you know it is a a shiny outlook everything that we've seen 2024 is going to be a really great year from everything we're hearing and seeing even from our hotel partners uh we're just so thankful and grateful to be a part of this uh this industry as as dana shared that sentiment uh really looking forward to um, all of you listening to the podcast and hopefully sharing some news if you're a hotel listener out there with some new exciting things that you have on, on your horizon too. So uh, thank you all for listening. This was our last episode yes. of 2023, which wraps up just a fantastic year. Tons of special guests, um, on-site episodes, which are a lot of first of for us. Uh, again, just incredibly grateful i um, grateful and for, for you taking the time, thankful for you yeah, taking pleasure. the time, Dana, being on the sweet spot once again and uh, looking forward to next year and, and having you back on the podcast. And Sounds great. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Uh, you can check us out on our YouTube page as well as any streaming platform. Thanks for listening to the sweet spot. We'll talk to you next time.